20 videos and 10 brave beaters. 10 watches that are worthy enough to sit with pride on your wrist. So I have a surprise for you today. I am launching a new type of series. It's called Brave Beaters Garage. Where you and me were going to redesign together iconic watches and then send them to the manufacturers to see how they react. And I will provide you all the details and the watch to start with in 2 minutes after the walkthrough of the Brave Beaters Hall of Fame. So hope you like this collection of 10 brave beaters so far. They have amazing history and a lot of substance. So if you want to find out more details about these timepieces, please check them out. They all have dedicated episodes on the channel. Also, you can subscribe to the channel for future creative stories. So the first theme will be to recreate together an iconic watch. The Certina DSPH200M. Obviously the legendary model from 1967. To facilitate that, I've created a Google Forms that can be found in the description of this video. The form is free access, it does not require any emails or logins, and it takes 10 seconds to prefill it. So feel free to do it. You can add your name or your nickname in the comments field as well, so I can mention you as the contributor of this video. And after I collect all the data based on your preferences, I will make a full dedicated video where I will design the watch and then create an email where I will attach the photos and send them to Certina as I promised in our behalf. And what you will specifically need to do, you will need to access the Google Forms link in the comments section. You will need to look at the design of the original Certina from 1967, for that I've attached some photos. Then you can decide what type of case size, the crystal type and bezel you think it's suitable for this reissue of the model. You can also write in the comments field if you have any specific features in mind. Also you can write your name or your nickname so I can mention you as the contributors that took part of the Certina project. And then submit the form, it's quite easy. So I'll be seeing you in the next episode, more precisely in a few days. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write me, please write me in the comments down below, I'll be answering for sure. And until next time, stay safe.